New video time. Guys, I am Yard Offside FM, and it is very nice to see you again. This is episode 20 of The Triumph, my Football Manager 2017 Let's Play series as Hell's Teeth FC in the Tuvaluan A Division. Welcome back, guys. We have hit episode number 20 in this series here, which is awesome, and it really is an indicator of how much fun I'm having. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as well. Um, first, to start off this episode, I apologize in advance. There is a huge snowstorm where I live in the upper Midwest of the United States, and as such, everybody is outside with their snowblowers uh, yelling at each other in bizarre accents. Oh, Harold, did you get that part of the sidewalk there? Oh, no, I haven't got there yet. There's a lot of snow there. So if you hear some random shouting in the background, I apologize. Or if you hear machinery running in the background, no, I am not recording this in a warehouse. Uh, I just live in a shitty part of the world. So let's get into this episode, shall we? Fixture list. In our last match, we took on Nui. It was a 3-0 victory. You guys remember that one. We did that in a live com. Tofaga was our next match. Unfortunately, this one ended nil-nil, and I bear some personal responsibility for that. Tofaga really came out. It was clear that they were going to park the bus, and I, had the op I really had the opportunity in the second half particularly to go at them. And instead, I chickened out, and I really stayed defensive myself. Tofaga do have the ability to blitz us, as you can see here. George Panapa, hat trick. You guys remember hearing about that one in the last episode. And I was afraid that that would happen again. I was afraid we could actually lose this match against Tofaga. In the end, I stayed conservative, and it ended nil-nil. Not the end of the world. New Tau, however, held us to a draw. That is a... That's a draw. That's, that's points dropped. That's not nearly as positive a draw as this Tafaga result. And I'll explain why in a bit, guys. 1-1, one, one, the final results. Maya Moaga got us in front right after halftime, and then Alapua Ale equalized for Newtow 11 minutes from the final whistle. Also disappointing about this match, guys, is uh, we had a couple injury issues. Tito Tui still out with a twisted ankle. He picked up that injury uh, in that match against Newtow. This is a player who I'm really kind of hoping will develop into an excellent center back for the future. Um, and having him out of the team for a month is not, I mean, it's certainly not good for his development. But with a, with a player like Tui, like Tito Tui, who's got marking of 10, you can't train marking. You could, you're either good at it or you're not. And so he's, he's really a player I want to, to, to develop into an elite defender for us in the future. We also lost Lua Tui, who's a 2017 class, uh, a member of the 2017 regen class. He went out with a bruised rib. He has now returned from that injury, and we're going to be using him today. Not sure if he'll make it the full 90 minutes in this match against Tamanuku, um, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of play that by ear. Lua Tui, um, let's just have a look at him. I mean, for me, he's one of the um, one of the best players from the 2017 Regen class. You look at him; his physical's not amazing, but well, actually, his physicals are pretty good for a Regen, frankly. And hopefully, these will go up over time. He's got a few very nice uh, mentals. A few of them are pretty horrendous, but um, you know, with teamwork, 14, work rate, nine's not awful. Flair, 13. Um, his composure needs to be improved, but, you know, composure is one of the mentals that you can actually train, so that's promising. And then finishing, 13, first touch, 9, those are excellent. His other technicals, horrendous, of course. <laughs> but um, he's a player who I think can be a really decent poacher, and my assistant agrees. Um, I'm hoping that he'll really develop into an elite player. It's hard for him to get match time as well, by the way, guys. We have so many fantastic um, forwards in our Hell's Teeth team. It's hard for Luatui to, to get a sniff of match time. And I've been trying to use him a lot lately because I think he's an excellent player. A very good penalty taker as well. Um, so, Manu Laiva, that's the only result that left that I need to talk about. Pretty dull result. Olaf Award managed to get himself back on the score sheet, which is nice because he hadn't done that for about a month since this Tofaga result there. Um, so, good to see Olaf Award getting back on the score sheet. Olaf Award, of course, had that injury issue uh, a few episodes back. Um, but he seems to be mostly recovered now, which is good. Um, we needed to really 
defeat Manu Laiva by a, a wider margin there, and that's a little concerning. But uh, I, I guess three points is three points. Looking at the competitions here in the A division, we're 10 points clear with a game in hand. So we're in pretty good shape. That's why I really felt that that Tofaga draw, oops, that's why I really felt that that Tofaga draw, not a disaster for us. Um, we're still in very good shape, and pretty soon here we're going to be clinching our second consecutive A division title. So really, that gives us a chance to kind of batten down the hatches and focus on other competitions like the cups the independence cup that's the competition we'll be involved in today as you can see there's only one match left in this competition we are playing tom and nuku um we need a win three points is the only thing that'll do a draw will see us finish short of both tofaga and Utah, and we need to finish in the top two if we want to make it to the independence cup final of course we were there last season and it ended in horrific fashion remember that 4-2 defeat to luamotu very disappointing. Um, I'm hoping that we can collect uh, the Independence Cup this season. Um, silverware is really something that we need to start collecting to get our reputation up um, so that we can attract more fans to the club, attract better players to the club, and of course convince our board to um, up our professional status. So, the Independence Cup, that's our goal today. Tamanuku stand in our way. How have we performed against them in the past? I, don't, I actually want to be in the... Uh, match analysis tab here next opponent pass meetings against tamanuku here we go as you can see we've won most of our matches against tamanuku however there is definitely cause for concern because there are quite a few matches where tamanuku really really exposed our defensive vulnerabilities uh we lost our first ever match against them in 2016 and then the run of of really pretty horrendous defending by us against Tamanuku started later on in that 2016 season a 4-4 draw 3-4 in 2017 5-2 again in 2017 uh, we had a friendly against them earlier this year 4-3 so Tamanuku definitely a team that can cause us issues they tend to play pretty narrow I'm not sure really if they're more of a um a passing team a short passing team or if they're direct it's odd because usually teams that play narrow against hell's teeth don't tend to fare that well uh, we, we do pretty well against narrow teams but tamanuku are an exception to that rule they score a lot against us and they do it by playing narrowly uh, so whatever they're doing they're doing right and it's a struggle for us to contain them most of the time okay so finally let's have a look at this here because we have had a couple uh, late departures from the hell's teeth team that i need to tell you guys about um, unfortunately because our squad is starting to get on the larger side there were a few players who i couldn't uh, register for the a division well i didn't register for the a division decided not to register mama etimani a player who came in uh, who i've taken who i took off of luamotu's hands only managed to play twice for us was i mean not awful but mostly unimpressive and we have some other really good options at left midfielder so in the end i left i, I left Etimani out of the a division squad he kicked up a huge fuss was absolutely furious demanded to leave the club and so i said all right fine goodbye um so etimani is gone you know what in the end we can look at this as a net positive because we've taken away one of luamotu's better players and now he's sitting on his ass as a free agent um it's kind of schadenfreude but uh, you know maybe it's a little bit cheap you could look see it as but uh i, I i'm enjoying it because you know what fuck luamotu fuck luamotu <clears throat> Next up, Malma Lapayo, uh, well, has been our reserve goalkeeper for quite a few years. So I was hesitant to let him go, but it was a similar situation. Uh, I wanted to register Mayama Moeaga in part because Mayama Moeaga is considered a homegrown player, and that was important for the registration rules. So I let Mayama Lapayo, I left him out of the A division. Um, registration group you, I guess you could call it he was furious and I couldn't convince him to stay so he has been cut loose and then later on in September we managed to we collect a really good goalkeeper in our regen class so really Lapayo definitely surplus to requirements we're letting Mayama Lapayo go now just stressing this is not James Lapayo our really fantastic um, sort of attacking midfielder this is a different Lapayo James Lapayo still with the club still killing it still an amazing player um, so so, oh, regens. I want to talk about those, actually. I haven't taken you guys through those, and let's do that before we get into the match. I have to remember where 
the regen information tab is. I think it's under world. Let's go have a look. Yes, transfers. Okay. So youth intake here. You can see I've already loaded this up. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of players as usual. Most of them are pants. You guys know how regen day works. T uh, Timali Okalani. This is the guy I mentioned. He's come in a goalkeeper who's already one and a half stars for the first team. And you can see looking at him, he does have some definite promise to him. Some pretty good physicals, although physical is really not that important for a goalkeeper. Um, some decent mentals, albeit not in areas that really matter. I mean, teamwork 12, that's decent. Aggression 13. I'd like to see his composure be a little better, but of course you can train composure. So that's something that hopefully we'll be able to work on. He's got a couple technicals that are very, very good, like handling 15. That's great. Um, kicking 9, not the worst. And then he's got some goalkeeping technicals that are really horrific like first touch one passing two reflexes four uh we're gonna have to work on these because that's not good enough having said that tamale okalani definitely better than uh, Ma uh not not mayama lapaya we just let him go mayama moeaga who is the goalkeeper i mentioned from the 2016 class uh kept him with the uh orange demons because he uh, is a homegrown player and that's important as you can see okalani a much more rounded well-rounded player uh, mayama moeaga a little bit uneven and in terms of attributes i mean you can immediately see a lot more of these green uh bars here indicating that okalani is is a much better option um, particularly in the technicals, well, in every field, really. I mean, you can just see looking at that how much better Okalani is. So he is definitely a promising player. Uh, we've also picked up this guy. My assistant really rates this guy, Mayama Kelamene, three stars for the youth team. I look at him and I think, eh, not really good enough. I mean, maybe he can improve a lot in the future, as my assistant says, but I look at his physicals, not really that great. I mean, I guess three of them at 10, that's not the worst, but like he needs to be a lot better. Teamwork 10, work rate 14, these are two important attributes, so that's all right. I mean, hopefully he can improve uh, in the future. Determination 8, not the greatest, not the worst. His technicals are horrific, though. Um, obviously, you can train technicals, but he's got a long ways to go, and I'm not sure Kelamene is really somebody who I'm going to be keeping around for a long time, but at least my assistant says, hey, have a look at this guy. Uh, next up, we have Sili Siopepa. Now, this guy, not rated by my assistant, not really rated by me either. However, I look at him, and there are several things important about him first of all his, his physicals are horrendous and my assistant really likes to see nice physicals i do too frankly um but um he's a little bit lacking in that area that definitely contributes to his low projections um his mental's not fantastic either although some of them are close to 10 like teamwork 9 flare 9 uh, you know, um, leadership eight. Well, leadership's really only important if you want to make somebody a captain. But um, vision seven. That's not the worst. Um, and work rate is at eleven. Again, could be better. Could be worse. The thing that really catches my eye about Seal Peppa is he's got he's doing the right things in the technicals department. Uh, he's come in, genned in with corners 10, free kick taking 14, which is by far the best free kick taker in the Hell's Teeth team. His passing is 8, technique 7. Um, these things are, are re you have to work hard to, to, to improve them in training. You can do it, but it's, I mean, it's nice when you see somebody come genned in with a few good technicals. So Sia Peppa is somebody who I'm going to be looking at. I'm, I'm going to use these guys in our Christmas Cup quarterfinal. I'm hoping that doesn't shoot us in the foot against Lacanian United, but historically speaking, regens, when they've come in, when, when I use them in sort of en masse in, a, in, a, in, in one of the cups, uh, they usually tend to, to be okay, and it gives me a sense of which ones are good and which ones are bad. So we'll see what happens in this quarterfinal against Lacanian United there. I'm hoping they can eke out a result as our regens did last year. Okay, so Tamanuku, our opponents on the day here. Let's get into this match against Tamanuku. Um, Melissa Alio and Lua Tui are mat lacking in match sharpness. Oh, dear. I've already gone through the match preview screen. Well, there's nothing to see on that anyway. So let's get into the match here, guys. Okay. So uh, the media saying they fancy Hell's Teeth to win this one. Um, we should have enough quality to see off Tamanuku. I sure hope so. We, we, we have to win. We have to win. A draw is not good enough. 
Um, Tini Lau considered a key man for us. Who is theirs? Talavalo Lipua, who is a um, advanced playmaker. So good that we're going to be in a, in a formation that that um, stays pretty narrow. Tunnel interview. They want to know why we're not using James Lapayo. That is a good question. It's a str- it's it's difficult because I know that Lapayo is a really good player. He's still relatively young. I think he's going to keep developing. But with all of the excellent forwards that we've brought in, we have so many good options at striker. And when you know the fact that I'm trying to use Luatui in the match today just to give him some time, um, it's it's a challenge to keep to keep all of these different strikers in the team. Luckily, none of them send, seem to be kicking up a huge fuss, um, but uh, that may happen in the future. Both teams come into this one in good form. How do I rate our chances? I don't want to be overconfident. Uh, I don't think we've played that well despite our good run of form. Yeah, we'll go with that one. You must be intent on gaining a measure of revenge on Tamanuku. That ha- that was our only loss of the A-Division season thus far. And, it, I mean, I'm not... I don't hold it against Tamanuku per se. It was a little bit frustrating. I don't want to beat them because they beat us. I want to win because I want to win every match. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at our team today, guys. Tapase, as usual. Then we have Alasana, Vailele, and Tofuola in the back. I've really gone with this kind of setup in the back for the last few matches. Pretty satisfied with how they tend to perform. Have made some changes in midfield. We have uh, James Mulogo over on the right side. Tamali Tologo has been playing over here on the right. Haven't really been satisfied with his form lately. And James Mulogo, a player who's maybe not, you know, really stormed into the Orange Demons team and, and really played particularly well. But when he played for Newtown earlier this season, he was excellent. 7.27 average rating. Clearly had some injury issues, and I'm hoping those don't continue. But at least, for the moment at least, I mean, he's a player who looks like he's he's coming in in, in, in very hot form. And so I think we have to see if he can continue that with us. Uh, Eliu will play over on the left hand side. Obviously, I mentioned uh, Maoma Etimani leaving the team, so Ailey is going to get a little more time, and he's been such a great player for uh, for Hell's Teeth, and it's, I'm, I'm happy that we we're going to be able to give him more time now. Tofi Guy Pearson will continue to play in midfield. He's going to be joined by Tito Tini Lau, who's usually played up front for us. I'm, re- I'm moving Tini Lau back because we need to keep the rotation going here in the uh, in, in in at striker as I mentioned earlier we're going with Fia Malua at attacking midfielder Olaf Award of course will play and as I mentioned Lua Tui is going to get himself a start with Hell's Teeth here um so yeah we're going with the 3-4-2-1 this is sort of a defensive formation and we'll see if I need to switch over to the Awendo because as I mentioned obviously we can't you know sort of por- park the bus and I almost said pork the bus that's not an expression it should be though I don't know what that would be, throwing bacon at a bus, perhaps? I'm, I'm really not sure. It doesn't sound like it's that fun of an activity. I don't recommend you try it. I expect nothing but a win from this match here, guys. Go pork the bus. Let's see. Defenders, uh, midfielders, strikers. Let's tell all these guys that we have faith in them. The usual team talk here. Um, but yeah, we have to win. It's critical that we win. I'll be really frustrated if we don't win this game, guys, because I want to win something other than the A Division. Last season, I mean, it was great to win the A Division, but it just felt so anticlimactic. Um, losing both those cup finals, you know, it, it, it was really a, a kind of a hollow victory in the end. And I'd like to, to win a, a double or even a treble this season just to really have Hell's Teeth stamp their authority. And as I mentioned, we've got to get our reputation up, which means we, we, we gotta win rep, we've got to win competitions, full stop. All right, so that's the opening highlight. As usual, it comes to nothing. I may decide to switch Tini Lau and, and Fia Malua if they're not performing well. Those players sort of can be used interchangeably. Not a lot happening thus far. <clears throat> hmm. Very dreary. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to switch them and see if that helps. Because um, Fia Malua clearly not contributing to the attack where he is currently playing. Let's just switch those guys around. See if that helps at all. All right. Teeny Lau goes down with an injury, a gashed head. Um, are we going to have to take him off or can he soldier on? I imagine with a gashed head, that's just something that the physios can, you know, kind of wrap up and he can play on. 
We'll see if he makes it to half time here. That was an orange injury, which usually means that they can continue on. Looks like Tui's got to this here. Out to Aliu. Launches it long. Maybe Tui can get on the end of it. Gets a shot on target. It is saved by the Tamanuku goalkeeper. Um, but that is our first chance of the match. Um, looked like Tini Lau was sort of involved in that. He at least sort of ran a dummy that allowed Lua Tui to run onto it. Aliu now again on the left. Tini Lau here. Can, can Tini Lau whip a ball in? Yes, he can! Tui! Lua Tui! The developing young striker has got himself on the score sheet just before halftime. Um, we've had Taumafai Tui, obviously one of our, our great servants to the club, a, a real veteran, legend. And now we have a new Tui coming through the ranks at the striker position. Um, I'm really hopeful that this guy is going to be, alongside Ward, a striker for the future. So Tini Lau gets himself an assist there. Doesn't look like... Does he have a head wrap on there? I think he does. Well done, football manager, to get that little detail in into the game. That's that's it's brilliant. I, I love that. I've never seen that before. Uh, Alasana manages to head that away. We hold the line in terms of defensive set pieces. Still with Tamanuku, though, and they could line up a shot here. That's a nice block. I'm not sure who that was. Um, looked like it was possibly um, Vilele. Uh, that was good work, though. That's what we needed. Alasana heads that away, but it's far from clear. Mulogo, their Mulogo, uh, over on the right-hand side for Tamanuku, and that highlight is over, thankfully. All right, so it looks like we're going to head into halftime here, 1-0 up. We need to decide whether um, Tini Lau can make it through to the end of the match. Condition-wise, he's the worst in our team, but it's not horrible. He may be able to continue on. Um, I'm inclined to really kind of... To, you know, stick or twist is the question when it comes to Teeny Lau. And I think we're going to stick with him. Um, yeah, we're going to stick with him, at least for now. If, if he starts demanding to come off, then I'll oblige him. And we definitely have some other options that we can bring on at striker. Uh, in particular, Lopati Okalani, who, you know, uh, really the marquee transfer of the summer for us. Um, an absolutely fantastic number nine who is... Going to, going to want to receive a lot of match time, and so we may have to, to get him on. Let's just tell the guys that we're happy with their performance so far because, I mean, you know, we didn't create that many chances, but we were pretty solid defensively, um, which, you know, as I've repeatedly mentioned, doesn't always happen against Tamanuku. So nice to kind of invert that history. Let's get into the second half here. Players reacting pretty well to that team talk, so hopefully that uh, is a good portent for the second half. Pearson cuts that out. Tofi Kai Pearson is just a legend. What a great player he is. Uh, Tui can't quite get to that, unfortunately. And it looks like this could be a highlight. Mulogo strips his man. Can this actually be a highlight for us? Pearson, way back in his own half, launches it long. This should be cleared out by Lele heads it away. It is still with Tamanuku, though. Valawaga, Lipua. Come on, boys. we got to clear this out. They spray it out to the wing. The right winger's got a lot of space. Tapase really could have let that go, but you can't blame him for playing it safe. They do have a corner. Lua Tui got himself the goal earlier, and that is a critical defensive header there at the other end. Um, I think Lua Tui's playing really, really well, and until he stops playing well, he really deserves to stay um, in the starting eleven. So we're coming up on the hour mark here. Generally speaking, that is when I look to make a substitution. Do we need to take Tini Lau off? I mean, he's played actually pretty well. Obviously got himself that assist earlier. Here he is on the ball now. That's good for two. Is he onside? I can't believe he's onside. He is onside. Looks for Tini Lau. Fiamalua. Oh, that's a horrendous effort from Fiamalua. I mean, tough to take first time. Look like he just kind of sliced at it, but... I mean, he needs to do much better. Ward now, who's had a very quiet day. Fiamalua, Pearson, Eliu, Tini Lau lets that run in front of him. And now uh, Mulogo can counter for two Tamanuku at the other end. Oh, this is not good. Tofuola with a critical challenge in defense. Tui now in attack for us. Tini Lau goes past his man, lays it off for Fiamalua, who finds Tui. Can he get to this? No, he cannot. Tamanuku now recovering at their own end. That's a successful ball down the pitch here. This is a long-ish highlight. Hopefully it doesn't end in a goal for Tamanuku. That is a blast from... Didn't see what his name was. Um, 
But similarly, it looked like he tried to take it first time and went screaming over the bar. Okay, so it looks like Teeny Lau's doing all right. I really don't want to take him off, to be frank. Um, I think he's playing too well to, to justify that. I want to see who's playing poorly for us. Looks like Ward, well, we knew Ward was, was not playing well. Tofuola not playing great at the back. I don't know if I have any options at in defense, nor do I know if I want to make a substitution in defense. I do have Toluona to Salem. Mm. I mean, we can't afford to, to cough a goal up at the back. Do I bring on a defender or do I bring on a striker? I guess we have to win. Oh, this could be a huge mistake. Oh, we have Ofati. He's a very reliable guy. Let's bring on Ofati for Tofuola just because Tofuola, it's 6.3. That could be a, a danger sign right there. I don't want him to commit any huge mistakes and screw us over because a draw is not going to, it's it's not good enough. Um, okay, so let's just tell him uh, no pressure. No, uh, he's a, sort of more of a veteran player, so let's tell him we have faith in him. Turns out that was a good decision. He feels like he gets along well with the head coach. Good old Ofati. He's a super reliable player. and He's one of those guys who manages to get himself goals periodically as well. Uh, and a defender who can you know play well at the back and then periodically get himself on the score sheet on a set piece or two. That's always a little bit pleasing. He's taken a head injury and he's indicating he wants to come off. Oh dear, he's aggravated the head injury it looks like. Oh boy. Okay, well, we have to take off Teeny Lau. He's, he's played pretty well despite this... Um, I mean, I'm guessing pretty painful injury. Um, so he's he's done a job for us on the day, and i um, grateful to him for that. Who shall we bring on? We could bring on Okalani. Faka Tawafa, also an option, although he, frankly, kind of sucks. <clears throat> uh, I think Okalani needs to be who we bring on here. See if we can successfully shuffle people around. Um, hmm... Okalani really can't play in attacking midfield. Tui, not that great there either. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? You know what, maybe we could make a double substitution. Nah, let's just go with this. We'll use Tui. Um, Ward's a despite his attributes i think a decent pass over so we're going to move him to attacking midfielder too he can sort of play a shadow striker and kind of drop in to exploit the uh the channels so let's use okalani here hopefully this will uh this this will be proved to be a, sub a good substitution okalani kind of struggling a little bit lately for form another one of the reasons that lua Tui's come into the team um but hopefully he can come on and, and put in a good shift for us today Tini Lau, thanks for, for, for soldiering through that injury. Um, you played pretty well, I think. No highlights here. We need to defend this here. Valawaga, that is atrocious. That's just atrocious. There must be a curse around the name Valawaga, I have to say. We had our former goalkeeper, Joshua Valawaga, just a complete bag of shit. And apparently, Tamanuku's Valawaga can't, uh, can't, can't play at all either. That was really, really poor. Okay, um, so Luatui really kind of playing out of position at the moment. I could bring on Faka Tawafe for him, or I could move Fiamalua back up and then bring on Tusela in defense. That would kind of be a defensive substitution. Hesitant to bring off our goal scorer, um, but I think we need to not be playing people out of position. That seems like a recipe for a disaster. So let's bring on Tusela, very solid defensive player. He'll be good in central midfield for us, especially at ball-winning midfielder. Uh, this is a defensive substitution, and that's what we need to be doing to really consolidate this very slim one-goal lead that we have at the moment. Oh, I hope it doesn't backfire, though. I bet they score in the 88th minute. Boy, that'll piss me off. All right, um, there's no pressure on you, Tusela. Come on, we just got to park the bus for 10 minutes. In fact, should I tactically change? No, it's a little bit too early. I should wait. Okay, so there it is, our last substitution, the last roll of the dice for Hell's Teeth. We've made it to the 86th minute now. I am going to go into instructions and try and park the bus here. Much lower tempo and waste time. All right, I could have turned on contain as well. I'll leave it. Defensive is good enough. So, a highlight here. Looks like this is going to be an 87th minute highlight. Two sailors on the ball. Could be our highlight. Fiamalua, Pearson. Concerted passing from Hell's Teeth. That's what we need. Mulogo cuts inside. Mulogo needs to get rid of it. 
Oh, he's been stripped. Oh, boy. Below go for a Tamanuku and a shot. Pattaya misses the target. And we can breathe a sigh of relief. Um, actually, he didn't miss the target. It was a decent block from Afati, maybe. Interesting corner kick there from Tamanuku. Whip another, they can whip another ball in. Luckily, they are offside. And uh, we get away with that one. Now in the 89th minute, Hell's Teeth in possession. Pearson, Fiamalua, Okalani. Oh, God, Okalani. For being supposedly alongside George Panapa, really one of the best strikers in all of the entire nation of Tuvalu, uh, Okalani has been largely unimpressive for us. I'm pretty dissatisfied with him. That cross comes in, Ofati heads it away. Um, oh boy, this is really squeaky bum time here, isn't it? We've got to get rid of it. Fiamalua, just clear it out, please. Just get rid of it. Thank you. Okalani should get to this horrendous first touch um, and a poor decision there from the central midfielder from Tamanuku. They've just given us possession back and uh, really they needed to sort of work that into the box a little bit more. Tamanuku have nothing to play for here in the Independence Cup group stage. They're really playing for pride and playing to, to kind of spoil um, our, our, our party, rain on our parade. Fimalua finds Okalani, who can maybe look ahead for Ward. Nope, that's well defended by Lipua. Ofati gets to that. Ofati's come on and really played well in this match here. I think Ofati perhaps uh, deserves to, to come back into the team. That's a good ball. Okalani! Oh, good save. Good uh, reflex save from the Tamanuku goalkeeper there to just give them a, a narrow chance to nick a point from this one. Only 30 seconds left. We just need to hang on. They do have possession here. Is there a last gasp equalizer for Tamanuku here to break our hearts and knock us out of the Independence Cup? They have space over on the right-hand side. Whipped in, Vilele defends it well. It's a corner kick, but this should be the last action of the day here. We are seconds away from making it into the Independence Cup final. Okala yep, that's headed away, and it's full time. 1-0. It was really a tight affair against Tamanuku. A uh, very much an inversion of how things tend to go against Tamanuku, but we did get that result. Like I said about the Manu Liva game, it doesn't matter how you win them, just that you win them. Um, I do want the players to, to play a little bit better than they have, so I'm going to tell them they need to be uh, better in the future. Uh, in truth, though, I am happy that we've got that result. We are through to the final. Who are we taking on? I can't actually remember. It's either T Tofaga or Newtow. Um, I believe that Tofaga... And new t here we are. Tovaga and Newtow, yes, they're level on points, um, also level on goal difference. So it looks like it, it, it is the case that Tofaga are going through on goals, the goals for tiebreaker. So it's going to be Hell's Teeth against Tofaga in the Independence Cup final. Let's find out when this match is so that we can decide if we want to do it in a live com. I'm kind of leaning towards no um just because there's going to be a lot of other stuff and at this stage in the season i may want to just do the next live com as a, as a as an end of season live com okay so independence cup final it says unknown but we know who we're playing it's tofaga yeah we're not going to do that it's only two matches away um tell you what we're either going to do an end of season live com depending on what happens in the christmas cup if we get through this quarterfinal maybe we could do the semi-final which will be played somewhere in this region somewhere in october november um otherwise we'll be looking at sort of doing one of these matches around here right around the time that we're going to clinch the a division well hopefully clinch the a division knock on wood um thanks for joining me for this a, a little long episode guys so i apologize for that but if you've stuck with it all the way thank you so much we did manage to eke out a victory in the end over tamanuku getting that good live com good luck vibes here and um hopefully we can carry that on in the next episode well guys i have been yard offside fm Please like, please subscribe, and please come back for episode 21 of The Triumph.